Now we are going to cut a culotte. This is what we are going to do. This is the pattern of a culotte, basic culotte. No more. Then I'm a measurement. First, we are going to draw the pattern of a basic pattern for a straight skate for Ukwenza Le Chilot. Now we are going to take our measurements. Remember, our measurements we waste. Our measurements, so I think for this is waist, waist to hip, hip measurements, the length of the culot, and the, and the bottom height for this. Now let's start by doing our measurements. Our measurements, where to start here? Yes, sir. Let's start. Gwenza, our measurements, where to? I'm a measurement weight. That's the number one. I'm a measurement waist. Remember, my sense is skate. So I said so. I'm a pattern. Yes, skate for when's at this culot. I'm a measurement weight to a skate as that range. It's 77 divided by 4 plus 2 centimeter, which is going to give us a 21.3. This is your 21.3. This is your. 21.3 and your square across then again we are going to take our measurement waist to hip which is 20 centimeter and you square down and you take square down again we are going to take our measurements and our hips which we are going to divide by four we have already divided by our measurements with one my hips is equal to 25.7 this is your 25.7 yeah and you square across this is how we do we square down we square across only we are my measurements we measure our my measurements we just want calculator the my measurements a waste and my measurements are my hips. And my measurements are my hips is what divided by four supplied so so at two centimeter with same allowance. Again, this is how we are going to do now. Since we are making a culotte, we are going to add a 12 centimeter here. This, oh, let's add a bottom rise first, a bottom height first. Our bottom height is 28. This is your bottom height. Bottom height is 28. Here is your 28. And you square down. This is your bottom height. And here we are going to mark 12 centimeter. This is your 12 centimeter. How do we add, get this 12 centimeter, 12 point? How do we get this? 12.9 centimeter. We're going to add 12.9 centimeter. How did you get to 12.9? We touch the tata and my measurements and my hips. So I divide down go 8. So it's what divided by 8. So this is at 1 centimeter since we back. So at 1 centimeter. Like this. So this again. So this is tata it distance range. Uksugalan. Obeso washa range. From here. This is your 28, which we are going to divide it by 2. This is your 14 centimeter. This is your 14 centimeter. 14 centimeter, why is it divided? This is your curve. This is your curve. So, so we saw seven is our curve roller. This is our curve roller which we are going to use. Let me see the better. So we saw seven is our curve castle. And you square up like this. The final group in the final presents. This is what is supposed to be because it it cannot enlarge. And then since this is so when the e length of this, which is going to be long, I want to be long. And 
Then change the line there. Which are going to join it here again. This is where the line is going. something like this and don't forget this the hem allowance you must always get hem allowance and join the line here waist to hip This is our culot. Because I'm going to cut here. I'm going to cut. Yeah, this is the Let's cut it now. And we are going to cut it into two. to cut here then you are going to cut This is your culot. It's supposed to be like this. This is how you are going to sew it. You are going to sew it like this. Make sure it can we shape a lot. I'm still going to shape my curve because I'm making the video. This is how you're going to sew two centimeter here and here. Go like this. It's supposed to be like this. You're going to sew here. Then let's do the front. The front part is still the same thing. The you are going to see the difference, the small difference. We say we play, we are going to have a small difference with the front, but it's the same thing. You can even trace it if you want. You can do the back part and trace the front front part. When we put a lapel for some high and the minus two center. Now we are going to start again by it. Let's start like like we did. Our measurement that will set after this. It's 21. Measurement for the waist is 21.3. This is your 21.3. You score across waist to hip. You squat down. It's 20 centimeter. So 20 centimeter. And you squat down. 
hips measurement you square across our hips measurement is 25 point it's our hips measurement is 25.7 this is your 25.7 and you square across then we are going to add our bottom height again this is your front our bottom height is 28 here is your 28 mark down and then here we are going to take um here is the front part the front is our front part is 10.8 This is your 10.8. We took the so tata ama measurements away still. Ama measurements, ama hips. So I divide and go 8. So I say city minus 1 centimeter. Because the puma u 10.8. We back a city plus 1 centimeter. Wa puma, it's going to be longer than the front. So this is our front part. And then again, we're going to divide ama measurements we height. By two which is going to give us a 14 centimeter lapis so once a corner it caveat and take your curve ruler it's easier when you are using a curve rulers I prefer to use it so that it can, it can be very complicated this is where our rulers come from and you just make your curve goes like this then we are going to do the land land that is going to be 60 centimeters you screw down and you square across this is how it works this thing off drafting the pattern you square down you square across now we are going to do like this this is your pattern the lines will go like this this is your full pattern now we are going to cut again so let's do here your waist to hip let's join the lines so you can see the shape it's important to go to join our lines over the way one of the shape and the oil inside and let's go down Then we're going to cut. You cut one big one lines, no, so you cut one more lines of what you have. Go down. And you'll already see the shape of the ambaganja near the inside. So cut again here this line and you shape it like this and you follow the curve
This is your front part of the camera. And your back. 